Okay. People have been asking for a video tutorial on how to do this. Uh, so I decided I'm going to make one. This was found by Doodash. And this is how you do it. Make sure that your pause game is set to true. Go to your infrastructure. sign in as it's signing in you go to your code menu and since it's on pause it'll do it'll pause it right there go and search for the current firmware you are using right now I am using 5.50 JD3 so I, I'd search 5.50 if you're using 5.50 M33 or yeah 5.00 M33 search up 5.00 Okay, so now let's give it a second to search here. Wow, my search is really slow now. Okay, right there. The one that has your firmware on it and it says connection, keep alive or something. It just says connection on it. Right? So you press select and you copy that address. Unless you're on like MK Ultra or something. I don't know how to do that. Okay, you go to add empty code. Paste. And you make this is just the way I do it, but there's other ways to do it. You make that the ASCII section say 6.20, just like that. Okay, go back to your cheat index, go to your cheat in progress or whatever it is, activate it, it'll bring up the connection like that, it's timed out or whatever. Go back to competitive or co-op, whatever you were doing first. Connect to your point again. Okay, make sure that your cheat in progress or whatever is highlighted. Then, oh crap, I forgot it. Pause game is on. But anyway, make sure that's highlighted. Activate it at that screen right there. Press sign in. Give mine a second, mine goes really slow for some reason now. It'll say signing in. It's going to be kind of acquiring your firmware thing. And then there you go. Please wait, your DNAS thing. And it is connection, connecting with custom firmware. Thanks for watching and subscribe.